What's up guys? This is video number three in the Budget Gaming PC Component Selection Series. Today I'm going to take a look at a Budget Gaming PC case. This is the Cougar Spike. Uh, this case is around $40 and I'm sure you've come across it before if you are looking to put together a budget build. So let's talk a little bit about this case. Uh, starting with the front panel, it features a plastic faceplate which resembles a halo type armor. It has two five and a quarter inch bays, one external three and a half inch bay, your power and reset buttons which have blue LEDs, followed by a USB 2.0, a USB 3.0 port, and your headphone and microphone jacks. Now moving on just underneath that is a mesh covered area allowing the case to intake air and last a glossy cougar lettering down at the bottom. The front panel is removable with a little bit of force as you can see here. This case gives you access to the external bays and to the front of the 120 millimeter fan mount. Now unfortunately the previously mentioned front panel mesh is not removable, but if you regularly dust your case off that shouldn't be an issue. Now moving on to the main compartment of the case, it features toolless installation for your 5 and a quarter inch and 3 and a half inch drive bays. Just underneath the hard drive base, it features a mounting point for a 120 millimeter intake fan, which unfortunately is not included with the case. There is also one two and a half inch SSD mount on the floor of the case. Now on the side panel, it features two more 120 millimeter intake fan mounts, which again, you'll have to supply yourself. Now, if we take a look at this image of the case prior to motherboard install, you can see there are no grommets for cable management, so don't expect to have a showworthy build with this case. Uh, there is also no CPU cutout to allow access to the underside of the motherboard. The second part may not be an issue though, as I'm not sure if you can get a 120 millimeter CPU cooler to fit in this case anyway. Now moving on to the back of the case, it supports a top mounted ATX power supply. It comes with a pre-installed 120 millimeter exhaust fan. You have your IO shield on the left side and down at the bottom, your PCI slots. Uh, fortunately, the plates for the PCI slots are not reusable. So once you break them off, that's it. Now you wanna be sure whatever card you're installing is there to stay. Now one good thing though, is the case does support video cards up to 330 millimeters in length. So space is really of no concern when making your video card selection. Uh, it fits my GTX 650 Ti Boost pretty easily. And that about covers it for the case, guys. Uh, if you're on a budget, this case comes with one of the best feature sets you can buy in the price range. Uh, however, if you can't afford it, you may want to spend a little bit more money for a case that has things like cable management and a motherboard cutout that really make your life easier in the long run. Let me know what you guys think about this case in the comments below and if you have any questions. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like it. Till next time guys, see ya.